Hello, Rotten Willie again. The neighbors were complaining of a smell coming from my property, but the FBI backed off after getting a whiff of me. So I invited them to the Cotillion Ball, and we danced all night. It was a magical evening. Okay, let's get this over with. Ad Holes, The Unsolicited History of Advertising. Chapter 3, Idiot Box. But first, these messages. The clean car represents Crust Toothpaste. The unclean car, another leading brand. And they're off. Both provide 30% protection. At 60% protection, both cars are doing well. And at 90%, wait! The unclean car is out. And Crust Toothpaste goes on to win with 100% protection. Do like all smart drivers, use Crust Toothpaste. Unlike our true heroes like Justin Bieber, people once venerated those contributing to a better understanding of our world. One such man was theoretical physicist James Clerk Maxwell, who showed light was an electromagnetic wave, of which only a tiny sliver of its spectrum can be seen by the human eye. At the higher frequency end are ultraviolet and gamma rays, and at the lower infrared and radio waves. Heinrich Hertz would go on to demonstrate that the latter could be generated using sparks, and in 1901, Italian inventor Marconi was first to transmit them over long distances. For the next 10 years, wireless was primarily used for ship-to-ship -ship and ship-to-shore communications in order to send telegraphic messages. But with improvements in vacuum tube technology, the carrier wave could be modulated to transmit far more complex signals than just dots and dashes. The first radio network, NBC, a subsidiary of Radio Corporation of America, was founded in order for its parent company to sell more sets, as was CBS, a subsidiary of the Columbia Phonograph Company. But the first commercial station to hit the airways was Westinghouse's KDKA in 1920. This is KDKA of the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company in East Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We shall now broadcast the election returns. When their announcer, Frank Conrad, began to play records in place of newscasts, and the local department stores noticed a huge jump in music sales, they gladly supplied Conrad with more free records to promote. The number of stations increased exponentially throughout the 1920s, as did the percentage of households with radios. From the comfort of home, Father could tune into the ball game without buying a ticket or fighting the crowds, or hear the Grand Old Opry without going to Nashville, or an incredibly racist exposition without attending a Ku Klux Klan meeting. All he had to do for it was from time to time listen to someone tell him how bad he stinks. Arid, too, is helping thousands to solve the important personal problem of underarm perspiration. Arid helps you avoid perspiration damage to clothes and safeguards friendships. Use Arid every day. It helps stop perspiration safely, and at the same time, Arid is the most effective deodorant. Mom could look forward to her favorite soap operas every afternoon, such as... Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. And... The Guiding Lights. For which she would be treated to ads for, well, soap. This portion presented to you today by Came. Came Beauty Bar, the fragrant soap made with chamomile to cleanse and soften your skin. Not to be left out, the kids had all kinds of exciting programs to choose from, like Captain Midnight and the Lone Ranger. So it should be of no surprise why Ralphie was so excited when he received his little orphan Annie Dakota ring in the mail. At last, the greatest secrets of the universe would be revealed, only to be reminded to drink his Ovaltine. We feel for him, but where do you think he got the bright idea for a Red Ryder BB gun in the first place? And thanks to the wonders of television, Ralphie was about to be blasted with commercials galore. To the job! And Blue Bonnet Black is knocked off! And Black is knocked off? He's here! My mystery day! Mystery day! Toys. They're slinkies, they're slinkies, they're fun for girls and boys. Mr. Potato Head. 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 Mr. Potato Head.
straight ahead has a car and boat trailer. And there's a car and shopping trailer for his wife, Mrs. Potato Head. It's such fun to do and so easy. Like this. Take any fruit or vegetable. Just stick in eyes, then ears, and then the mouth. You can make the funniest looking people in the whole world. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, fighting man from head to toe. On the land, on the sea, in the air. Take Alabama man to the bowling alley where he drinks heavily and chews tobacco. Adding pictures to sound was an order of magnitude more difficult, however. This is one of the earliest attempts to do so using a cathode ray tube. By deflecting its electron beam while varying the intensity, an image can be formed on the internally coated phosphorescent film. There were very few broadcasts in the early years. People were so amazed by the technology they would watch a test pattern. This is one of the first known advertisements. But most of the original TV shows were live, and generally had to interrupt the program from time to time to shill for their sponsors. Other shows simply incorporated the pitch right into their script. That for all milk purposes, and for most cream purposes, I mean, you know, for cooking, for creaming your coffee, it certainly pays to use carnation evaporated milk. And don't forget that, because, uh, well, you can't forget it. As, as a matter of fact, it says, here, it says right on the can, excuse me, hold on. <laughs> Right on the can it says, Carnation Evaporated Milk from Contented Cows. And if you think that was awkward... We've attached my Timex directly to the propeller blade, as you see here. Now we'll submerge it in the tank. And all right, let's go. Now just imagine, the Timex watch on that propeller, let's lift her out has been slashed through the water on that blade to the tune of 4,500 revolutions per minute. What a test for a waterproof, shock-resistant watch. If they ever found the watch, we'll never know. Such mishaps would lead sponsors to move away from live promotions to recorded segments they could have more control over. Instant Simonize. Instant Simonize, you lame brain. You can already buy Instant Simonize everywhere. Instant Simonize? They thought of it too. Simonize thinks of everything. You gotta keep slim and trim. It helps to eat the right kind of food, like a post grape nuts breakfast. Don't say cigarettes, say Philip Morris. Oh? Is there any other kind? Not for you, there isn't. When you care enough to kill your husband with the very best. Hard to blame Lucy, though, considering the relentless, irresponsible manner in which tobacco was being pushed in those days. Chesterfield filters have put food taste. In a filter cigarette. True taste. Try it. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. But it didn't really matter what they were selling, because the post-war era American was buying anything they could get their hands on. It was in fact their patriotic duty to consume more and more often. Flop, flop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Oh, 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 green giant. Sloppy Joes. Just heat and eat. And swing to the beat. This man dared to use two dabs. Now he's in trouble. We refuse to be responsible. Real green, a little dab will do ya. Or watch out, the gal will all pursue ya. Because every girl loves a handful of greasy hair. But advertisers know sex sells and will forever be testing the limits of decency to hawk their wares. For a beautiful body, just pump, pump. For beautiful skin, you just pump. Mm. It's a great feeling. Who wears short shorts? Hold on, uh, let's see that one again. Who wears short shorts? We wear short shorts. If you dare wear short shorts, dare for short shorts. Nope, 
Nothing wrong with that commercial. Now, I don't wear pantyhose, but if beauty mist can make my legs look good, imagine what they'll do for yours. <sighs> you have to hand it to Joe, though. He's still at it after four decades. And even after doing something like this. I want to kiss you. I couldn't care less about the team struggling. I want to kiss you. Thus is the drawback of hitching your wagon to a star. For when they fall, you can be dragged down with them. And what made OJ such an expert on renting cars anyway? When he would have been better suited selling products he knew much more about. In the 60s and 70s, most commercials were aimed at the homemaker. For she was making a majority of the purchasing decisions. Cross your heart, see? You're suddenly shapelier. Mr. Whipple, please don't squeeze the shaman. Soften your hands while you do the dishes. The quicker picker upper. Choosy moms choose Jif. Big grip. Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. You've got a ring around the collar. Those dirty rings. And since there were only three or four channels to choose from, advertisers could afford to give her the headache they claimed to cure. Uh-oh. Your headache starts to pound. Its tension tightens your nerves. Feel it? Before you reach the end of your rope, reach for help. Reach for Anison. The traffic. I can't read The that. boss. The baby. The dog. That does it. Calgon, take me away. Sadly, while shirking her duties in the tub, she lost her job and her kids, and her dog got run over by the good humor man. As our attention span steadily declined, they began to rely more on catchy slogans and jingles. Sorry, Charlie. Odo Ruda, that's the name. And away go troubles down the drain. Kills bugs dead. Let your fingers do the walking. Rice Peroni, the San Francisco treat. I dare you to call it regular. I dare you. It's regular. Like a good name. Prego spaghetti sauce. Homemade taste. It's in there. Now it's garbage. With the advent of remote control and cable television, however, they lost their captive audience and were forced to become more clever and engaging. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. I'm enjoying that nuts. Mounds don't. Where's the beef? Lonely has a first night, it's O-S-C-A-R. Would you please pass a jelly? Mentos, the fresh maker. Raise your hand, you got it. Raise your hand, you know it, you feel calm. Good thing Lady Liberty doesn't have pit stains or she wouldn't dare raise that torch. But once everyone had bought a Betamax, damn it, I mean a VCR, and ultimately DVRs allowing viewers to skip commercials, the gloves came off and they went back to irritating because the adult doesn't care if he's liked, only that he is remembered. You ever been frustrated because the Noid ruined your pizza? The Noid loves to ruin pizza. I've fallen. And I can't get up! It keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Can you hear me now? 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 There's an app for that. There's an app for that. There's an app for that too. Oh yeah, you got an app for this? Because I could really use an app for this. To combat commercial skipping, programs began reintroducing the practice of product placement. Like an Arby's night. Kenny Rogers Roasters. Pez? Oh no. Box of Juji Fruits. Clock bar. I love you, Hope. In this episode, our heroes accidentally dropped a junior mint into their friend having surgery. He would get an infection but make a miraculous recovery in the end, at which point the doctor was offered a junior mint and said, That's gonna be 
very refreshing. It was supposed to be, no, that stuff will kill you. But the candy maker didn't like it and ruined what could have been a fantastic closing line. It has since become so commonplace we don't even notice it anymore. Stranger Things was rife with obvious plants, as too was the Big Bang Theory. I have a master's degree in engineering. I wipe my bottom with warranties. <laughs> Except for Apple Care, that pays for itself in the long run. As lame as that sounded, it is also out of character. Because scientists are not typically fond of Apple products for being overpriced and inflexible in favor of user friendliness. Most are familiar with how M&M's turned down a chance to sponsor E.T. and thus would lose a significant portion of their market share to rival Reese's. Yet product placement has been around since the birth of cinema. The first known instance was this Hershey bar in the 1927 film Wings. Ace comb sales went through the roof after James Dean was seen using one several times in Rebel Without a Cause as did Etch-A-Sketch after being featured in Toy Story. James Bond films has always been chock full of promotional material. And who could forget Tom Hanks' obsession over his buddy Wilson in Castaway? Wilson! Wilson! Yeah, we would probably rather forget his thoughts on Starbucks and You've Got Mail. People who don't know what the hell they're doing or who on earth they are can, for only $2.95, get not just a cup of coffee, but an absolutely defining sense of self. Thus we come to this twat, the man behind these pointless, bloated monstrosities. Judging from his love of spectacle, it should be no surprise he cut his teeth as an adult. Remember Got Milk? That was his baby. And he is not shy about ramming all of the products he can down your throat either. But if that's the sort of thing you like, along with an endless series of mindless explosions, in order to distract from the bad acting and incoherent plot, by all means, keep rewarding him and his ilk. They'll gladly make more. Well, that's about all I can take for today, and I haven't even started on infomercials, but that'll have to wait. Housekeeping? Not this week. The place is immaculate. Housekeeping? You want me put mint on your pillow? No, I don't need no stinking mint on my pillow. Go away. Housekeeping? Want me knock you down with a wrecking ball? What? No, I don't.